It's the day of reckoning in the Olympic Stadium in Munich. The crowd close on 78,000. Wonderful setting, marvellous atmosphere, and English referee Jack Taylor sets the game in motion. Holland and West Germany, and who would choose a favourite? The host nation, of course, bolstered by uh, very partisan fans here, but the Dutch not without support either. It's an easy journey for them, and they have been the most impressive team of the entire tournament. Johan Cruyff's total football team. And here he becomes involved at uh, the very start of the match. Reisbergen. So many excellent footballers on view, and just uh, one hopes we get a match uh, worthy of the final itself. Cruyff immediately will drive on towards the edge of the West German penalty area. Votes going in, he's brought down, and a sensational start. A penalty awarded in the very first minute. And it was Uli Hernes's challenge. Johan Cruyff then makes immediate impact on the World Cup final. Franz Beckenbauer arguing the toss with referee Taylor, who is adamant. Cruyff it is here. Bertie Votes goes in, but it's Hoeneß's challenge that incurs the penalty. And Jan Neskins is charged with the responsibility. 1-0. A minute played, and already Setmeyer is picking the ball out of the German net. You could not have had a more dramatic start to any game of football, let alone the World Cup final. Neskins keeps his nerve, and he's rammed it virtually into the centre of the German net. So Neskins, who faced a battle to be fit for this game after being carried off five minutes from the end of the match against Brazil, has already given Holland a dream start. West Germany nil, Holland won, and the crowd absolutely buzzing now as Holzenbein is brought down. Breitner with the free kick for the Germans. Muller has taken it short. Here's Muller now in there, tussling with Reisberger, and the referee, eagle-eyed, looking for another free kick, perhaps, or even a penalty the other way. But uh, now Paul Breitner sends that ball spinning out of play on the far side. Well, who would have conceived of a first-minute penalty in the World Cup final? Quite incredible. But uh, the referee was there, and he had no doubts. And it really has set the tone for the match. Well, the Dutch have been extremely popular in Germany throughout their stay. Oops, uh, that's going to be a free kick. Because of the football they've played, but there's no doubt about it, this partisan crowd who want to see the Dutch beaten today but they're a goal in the lead already. And uh, referee Taylor is very unhappy and shows Bertie Votes a yellow card. What a start to the match. Helmut Schoen looking unperturbed, but I'm sure he is. Free kick is uh, taken by Kroll, and uh, that's come back off the side net. But a vibrant start, certainly by the Dutch. And Germany have got to get themselves together quickly. They're not the sort of team to be rattled, to be honest. But the sooner they can get themselves back on a, an even keel the happier their fans will be. The last time West Germany were in the final was, of course, in England in 1966, and that's a free kick.
Here's Wolfgang Overath. Can hit them, left-footed, strokes it in, though. Clearance was effective, but uncontrollable on the bounce. And there'll be another free kick here, and the Dutch conceding several of these. Taken quickly and neatly, Breitner trying to get in at the back post, wins the corner. So can West Germany respond immediately, Youngblood's hopping around on his line. Well, it's away, effectively. And look how quickly the Dutch break. Foyf is up the far touch line, but uh, that situation misread. Enabling Schwarzenbeck here to uh, tidy up. In company with Overa. Then it's Franz Beckenbauer. Der Kaiser. Uh, running by Hunis. Again, so that Holland break with lightning speed. It's a little bit too long this time. Headed down for Breitner. Forward again, Muller took part in the move, but it breaks down in the centre circle. There's some good football being played by both sides. Uh, Cruyff involved once more but uh, this time the cross will elude him as Setmeyer comes together that distinctive German goalkeeper taken rather too quickly the free kick and uh, Germany unable to benefit from it Robowski in the centre circle and uh, Beckenbauer always the linchpin. Always looks totally in control of the situation. Muller twisting, turning, trying to get the better of Reisbergen. No foul. The three was right. Olsen by an infield again for Overath. Breitner links in. Might try a shot himself, Paul Breitner on the right foot. It was swerving, but it was too high. Paul Breitner, you could see it was on his mind all the way there. Has the crack at goal over the top of Youngblood's net. But the referee felt it took a deflection, and so... Uh, Germany still have the chance to apply some pressure now. Muller's going for it. Youngblood able to uh, pluck that one out of the air all right. And I'm sure Helmut Schoen on the touchline has called for calm among the troops, having gone a goal down as quickly as the first 60 seconds. Leiskins was deadly from the penalty spot. Certainly Holland couldn't have dreamt of a start like that one. And they go again, and it's broken away for Meyer. Just ran away at the last possible moment. The Dutch are certainly creating chances inside the German area, which must be disconcerting for the home nation. Beckenbauer. Over at uh, coming across, probably as a decoy. There's uh, Willem Subia, who's been a very integral part of.